just try to ignore those kind of people who irritate you. Don't revenge, don't do anything bad to them, just ignore them, yeah? <laughs> less contact, less talk, less friendship, yeah? Less thing to do with them. Just spare you the pain. Less looking at them. It's not like you are being... You're friendly, okay? Friendly everything, but do not try to be more than you have to, or do more than you have to, or be more near to them than you have to, okay? Yeah. But lightly, normal, and then try to ignore or a little distant, yeah? Distant physically or emotionally, just distant. Spare you some headache, okay? Or heartache, right? Because even though you don't know about it, their bad deeds still affect your emotional or your mental tranquility. Because it's written in their DNA, it's written in their cells, and when you're near them, or if you know, you don't know about it, but when you're too near them, they affect you, yeah? And you'll be in a bad mood, and you're sad, and you don't know why. Understand now? Yes. And if uh, sometimes they'll be too near, and then you are not uh, very polite to them because you cannot bear it, and then you blame yourself. Um, low level, or astral, whatever. It might not be you. Yes. It might not be you. If it's you, you check yourself, you see, maybe it's you, you're bad. But you check yourself, you're good to everybody else, except that guy. <laughs> okay? Then know that he was your bad enemy. Okay? Forgive him, but stay away. Don't ever fall in love with that person. <laughs> However good looking he is, check before you love. Okay? Check before you love. If he gives you more irritation than pleasure, no matter how attracted you are to him, that is just the enemy attraction. Okay? Do not fall in love with that kind of people. Because chance that you, you, you fall in love with the same bad guy again, and then he will repeat the pattern. Yes. Even though he is now a spiritual person, the karma of the fixed life is still here. Yeah? And you will just double pain. Understand? Yes. Right. Any question concerning this? Uh, you just tell me, ask me, now you ask me again, you want some? Some more? More question? Yeah? Just talk. Yeah. Louder. Yeah, but loud is so blinding. Yes. I know, I know, I know. But you must know it. If that person is not good to you, then you stay away. Don't fall in love yet. Because you could fall in love, but you could stop before it go deep. Yeah, if you feel like, oh, that guy is so attracted, but after a few days of talking, after a week or two weeks, just dating first, dating, talking, and then he will somehow reveal to you that he's not for you by the talking, yeah? Or by some behavior, you will know it. Just don't blind yourself and say, oh no, it's just now, it's just today. No, it's not, he reveals it to you, all right? Just like the mosquito, before he bites you, he always says, Zzz. <laughs> and don't ignore it, okay? Don't think, oh no, he's just singing. <laughs> <laughs> he reveals to you that he's going to bite. So stay away. <laughs> Protect yourself. Be vigilant and you will know who is friend, who is enemy. Anybody will reveal to you some secret of his past life. It's you who are to be blamed if you ignore the warning sign. Except if you are compassionate, you want to love him so you can elevate him, then welcome to the sorrow. <laughs> yeah, the master sometimes knows, but still do it. Yeah, accept or give him a close position so that he can elevate quick. That's why Jesus said, love your enemy, no? Yes. Only if you are strong enough. If you are spiritually strong enough and stable and your stomach is big, your mental is like iron, then you take that person. If not, please stay away. There are many ways to dissolve karma, okay? No need to jump in right into the fire and to be a hero. Unless you are a master, yes. then you do it because you do anyway, yeah? Friends and enemies alike. But still we suffer. That's why if I accept everybody, friends and enemy, I'm always happy about it, I cannot suffer, I don't feel anything, then what is the deal here with the Maya? I have to suffer. I cannot be invincible emotionally, mentally, physically. Spiritually, I am invincible, nothing else, okay? <laughs> Everything else is the same, all right? It's just that my will, my spiritual will, power, sell me through everything and accept everything, endure everything, that's all. Any more questions, baby? Master, I'm worried now that maybe I did something to you in the past and I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You beat yourself up, eh? You haven't. Okay, good. You haven't. We have been very good in the past, if you want to know.
Okay. Right. Okay. Thank you, Master. You're welcome. Not you. I don't think uh, I tell it. Anybody near you, me is always bad. No, it's not true. But many. Okay. Okay. Many. Before mostly bad. Now uh, begin to be better person, because as my level go up, the whole world go up. More better person come near. More better connection. Yeah. He was uh, very good with me in the past. I don't want to review what kind of relationship. I don't want to tell him either, unless it's absolutely necessary. I never tell anybody about their relationship with me in the past. I let you live the present, okay, and build the future, okay. He has been very good with me in the past, but he wasn't there. <laughs> he just came recently, just appeared. I don't even know uh, that he lived anywhere. I don't even know. Just one of the attendant recommend him to do something, yeah, and I say okay. Ah, yeah, I know that guy. Okay, he can come. That's it. Okay, I don't. I mean, physically, I don't know him well. Yeah, except he come to the retreat with you, and he's dancing around like other people. You know, singing, nothing like that. But physically, emotionally, I did not connect with him. I don't have time to connect with everybody. Besides, I don't want to. What for? There was no reason. Nah, I run around all the time. What for? I connect with anybody. Just make more trouble. But some people just know it, so I let them know as well. Yeah, some people good or bad. If they know it already, then we discuss. If they don't know, I just keep quiet. Yes. This feeling makes me very afraid. Why? 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 好的，坏的 ，loving or hate， 就是好像他看透你一样。看透我，我看透你。说那个不打，像看透我一样。啊，看透你，如如果你有什么事让他看透呢？我不知道，所以我就是会觉得感觉这样吓一跳，这样。怎么吓一跳？好像被人家看透的那种。奇怪。You are very strange. <laughs> If you have nothing in your heart, then do you worry about anything? Why? Why are you scared? Yeah, because you should be happy that the Buddha looked at you. Yeah. <laughs> you should say thank you. No? Yes. Just smile and say thank you. Or give him a cup of coffee and get 500 points or something. <laughs> Scare for what? <laughs> Even if anybody look through you, if you have karma in the past or anything, doesn't matter. Okay, every saint has a past. Yeah, every sinner has a future. Okay, so be it, right? Yeah, the two person they just bring me pain because of the past because I see through everything, but that's not their fault that I see it. Okay. It's my fault that I see everything. <laughs> I have to. It's my fault that I have to open myself to all kind of feeling, all kind of knowledge, yes. so that I can help you. I can help human beings or any sentient beings. Yeah. If I close myself into an ivory tower, feeling good like a princess, yeah, feeling uh, just happy every day, then I should have not come down here. I stay in heaven, then I would never feel sad or sorrow. No memories ever touch me. No karma ever even know about me. So I came here, so I have to open myself to it. I open myself to suffering, of course. If I don't feel cold, how do I know you feel cold? I understand. You're welcome. But it's not to blame you or anything. Yeah, it's not to blame you. I'm just telling you all this just for your own uh, experience, for your own knowledge. Okay. Yeah. In case you know and that and this, and then you know what happened. You know why you feel this way, that way, because yeah. yeah. It's not because to blame you or no. see through your past karma and anything at all. I have to see through so I can help you. I have to know where you are sick to give you medicine. Anybody, not just you, eh? Just just talking generally. All right. The doctors is not invincible, eh? He might catch cold from you as well, okay? But he cure you, ne? Eh? He cure you. He has to know what the sickness is. You can't hide from him. You should not. Nah? Any more question? Anybody? No. I wish I could just always smile and say nice thing about everybody, but I can't. Yeah, I'm a doctor. I cannot leave your cancer untouched. Gotta operate. Yeah, like it or not, pain or not. Okay. No more question. Then uh, we call it quit. Hmm? <laughs> I go to my trailer. Okay, meditate. Don't waste precious time. <laughs>
Oh, I tell you, I'm, everything I tell you, I do it, okay? Not just I tell you to do and I don't do. Né? In the situation of emergency, or whenever necessary, I do it. I give everything I have, if necessary. If not necessary, not, okay? I keep it for the next person or the next situation when necessary. But whatever I tell you to do, I do it myself. I even give the dogs my trailer. And sometimes they're not even clean and they jump on my clothes or anything. And, uh, and I always like cleanliness. But their well-being surpasses mine. And originally they came in without cleaning, without being clean. And I don't want to let the uh, helper clean them because I'm worried already a new situation. And they might get nervous if it's too much attention, you know? So I said, never mind, just let them. So I let them sleep outside in the eating area. But then they kind of want to walk into my area. And first I say, no, no, lady. But later I feel sorry for them. I say, never mind, go, go inside. Go on my bed if you have to go. Just feel good, feel good. I can clean the bed tomorrow. But they didn't. I would even give my bed to them if that makes them feel good that day. It was so cold. All the water became ice, remember? Yeah. Snowing is okay, but rain and ice is too much, yeah? I'm worried they're old, yeah? they cannot bear. And the black dog tell me, it's cold, it's cold. I say, okay, okay, we will bring you in. <laughs> and I am very clean person. You know, I love cleanliness, you know that, right? Yeah. Even you do. You would not love a dog to sleep on your bed, no? Nobody does. At least of all me, yeah? But I say, never mind, come, 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 come up. So uh, they don't, they don't. But yesterday and the day before, they put their paw on the bed already, and, you know, smelling, sniffing. Can I? I say, okay, but they still don't do it. I get more used to it now and can sit on my meditation cushion already. <laughs> Take turn to come in and just sleep on it a little bit and come out. <laughs> like testing, testing, you know. <laughs> So what I mean is, whatever I tell you to do is the right thing, and I do it myself, okay? Everyone else's comfort must come before ours. Understand now? Yeah? Yes. Even if you like it or not like it. But you have to do it with love, because you're so full of love, you don't care anymore. Not do it because Master say so, because the point, because you gain more points. It's not that. I also don't want them to go, but I love them so much, I did not care. Okay, never mind, go on bed then, and I go down on the floor. Doesn't matter. First I give them the cushion or uh, meditation and then I go on my bed because I sit on the cushion on the floor, meditate better. But because of them, because I, they're not clean, so I thought, never mind, go and sleep on my sit on my meditation cushion, then I go on my bed. Therefore, I don't get dirty, so the bed is higher. But later they come in and in and look, I say, uh, they don't want to sit on the meditation cushion. I thought maybe they don't like it there and they look at my bed. I say, okay, never mind, go on my bed then. <laughs> go, but they don't go. That's the ultimate I can offer to them. But they didn't go, but then my later they put their paws on. Uh, it doesn't matter anymore. So it has to be like that. You give what you like, not that you don't like, then you give. Yes. Not that you throw away garbage and then you give it to other people. You can do that also, but that doesn't mean much, yeah? In a situation when you require your sacrifice, then your love must go above everything else, okay? Yes. Above your preference, above your own safety, above your own security, above everything that you ever think that is best for you. Understand me? Yes. Right. I do the same, eh? Don't worry, you will learn. Even if you do it for points <laughs> or for because of my advice, you do it and then later you will do it automatically, okay? Yes. Training, training, all right? Yeah. First, it starts somewhere, okay? <laughs> Start somewhere with the points, yeah? <laughs> I might get rewards, okay? That's the brain loves that. The mind loves that, okay? Start with that. <laughs> See you, okay? Take a rest, uh, restroom, bathroom, and then come back meditate, okay? Stretch yourself out in the fresh air, whatever, yeah? Yeah. Use your snow to wash your face, whatever. Give you cool, huh? Huh? Good night, oh, I hope. I'm going to meditate in there. Good night means sleep, no? <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter. Okay, I have it, I have it, I know.